What is he even doing? I need to speak with him. His niece is about ready to explode in anger at him. And yet here he is keeping us both waiting. He is playing with fire. She's obviously getting angry by the moment. Though, as selfish as it is for me to say, I am glad her anger is no longer directed at me. I don't like it when she's angry with me, and I hope to never feel that again. He will see you both now. Well, she's not wasting any time, is she? Well, I assume this visit isn't about a social chat. The anger in your face is as plain as day. I'm surprised to see I, I let you in looking like that. Had you been anyone else... Yeah, she's reacting the exact way I suspected she would. <laughs> Expecting nothing less from her. I just hope her uncle doesn't get mad at me for saying something. Calm down now, please. Uh, I know you're pissed at me, at Quinn, but you have to understand, you knowing anything about it would have only made it obvious that Quinn was a bodyguard. Besides, I didn't need you resenting her either. I know you. You would have ducked out of her sight at every opportunity. No, don't argue. I raised you, remember? I know you. <laughs> Master, perhaps now isn't the time for laughter. This is a very serious situation. There were a couple intruders in our apartment last night. I believe they might have been recon, but they weren't content with just that. As I alerted you immediately, they were prepared to take her should the opportunity present itself. I know. With the decrease in the report since the two of you left for college, I'd hope they'd lost track of her. I guess they came looking for her anyway. I know you're upset right now, but I need you to calm down. This isn't just a matter of me refusing to let you stay out past curfew or scolding you about underage drinking. This is literally a life or death scenario. I take it Quinn explained the situation. Yes, Master. I advised her briefly of why they were after her, about who I really am and why I was created. I, I hope that you're not upset. I didn't know what else to do. No, no, Quinn, you did just fine. Perhaps I shouldn't have waited so long to tell her. <sighs> Look... I am sorry I didn't tell you, but please believe that I was only trying to protect you. <sighs> Look, listen to me. I know you're angry, but please, I need you to listen. Look! Enough! I need you to listen to me. I don't care that you're pissed at me right now. This is very, very important. Thank you. So, this is really serious. Quinn told you that I've been working on this AI that numerous other individuals and companies are dying to get their hands on. Well, unfortunately, by the time I'd realized how much this technology could be misused, I'd already created it, and people were trying to buy it from me. An AI that can develop and learn and grow. It can understand and, in some cases, develop emotions. Not synthetic, programmable emotions, but actual, spontaneously generated emotions. This almost sounds like the plot to some upcoming horror or post-apocalyptic film. No wonder she's freaked out. Well, that and someone just tried to kidnap her. I'm not sure why Master seems to be this calm about it. Though... Running a quick scan, I can see an elevated heart rate and temperature. He's anxious, but he's masking it well. I guess the good news is that they've not yet realized that Quinn here is an android, nor that she is programmed with this artificial intelligence. That being said, it wouldn't take much for them to figure it out. Quinn, I see her holding your arm to face away from us. Were you injured in the scuffle? Yes, Master. 
I attempted to dodge the blow, but... Well, here. See for yourself. Well, there is some extensive damage here, but it's not so bad that I'll have to refabricate your arm. The repair should only take an hour or so. You're lucky. Any further up, and it might have severed the entire connection of the arm to your motherboard. I can't imagine you would have liked trying to lug that around as dead weight. At worst, it could have short-circuited your system. Okay, Quinn, have a seat here. I'm well aware that my niece is about ready to run out of that door, but Sarah isn't going to allow it. No, you aren't a prisoner, but we're not done here. Quinn, I'm going to have to open up your control panel. Please tilt your head forward. I'll need to move the false flesh aside and... There. Access to your control panel. Oh, you you don't have to look, but there's nothing gross inside Quinn. Hell, there's nothing even organic here. It's all mechanical, which... Well, it's amazing, isn't it? She's so lifelike on the outside, it's easy to forget that she's not human. Look, you can be angry with me all you want about quote-unquote tricking you, but don't take it out on her. Quinn was just doing what she was programmed to do, and you've been inseparable with her since high school. She's been your friend, and there's nothing about that that was a trick. I don't want you to think it was all fake, either. You really have become the most important person in my life. And not just because he programmed me that way. I honestly cherish you and all of the time we've spent together. I... Oh. Yeah, okay. I guess trying to talk to you when the back of my neck is open probably isn't the best timing. But I... I just think it's important that you know. All right, you two. Stop jabbering. I need Quinn to stop moving so I can fix her. So, are you just going to not talk to me now? Just storm back to the apartment without saying a word? Look, you don't get to just ditch me, you know? I'm sorry I didn't tell you, but like we've been over, I couldn't. Let me do my job. My job is your friend to have your back. Oof, hey! Come on, don't stop so quickly. I almost ran into... I, 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 uh... No, n you don't mean that. You're... You're just reacting that way because you're upset. I'm... I, I am your friend. That's what I've always been to you. Y you've been to me. I, uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm not really human, but I... I can't change that. But I do care about you. I can care. I do care. Stop telling me I can't. What, because I don't have blood pumping through my body I can't feel? Because my, my brain isn't mushy I can't care or, 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 or love? You don't understand anything. It, it's not me that doesn't understand. My whole life. Life has revolved around you, and up until this moment, I've loved every moment of it. But how can you claim that I haven't cared? Fine. Do whatever you want. Take it out on me. I, I don't care. But don't you dare... For one minute, act like I suddenly don't have emotions. My brain is electrical? Well, how the hell do you think your nervous system works? You're not that different. Not at all. 
let me know when you realized how irrational you're being. That your anger is not at me, but at your uncle. And then, and then let me know. And maybe, just maybe, I'll come back. What are you doing? Get your ass back over there. You have a job to do to protect her. Who cares if she's angry? You're right, she's not angry at you. I'm just a convenient target. It's not the first time we've had a tiff, but... But she's never accused me of being devoid of emotions. I, I get it. I know I'm not human, but... Didn't we just talk about my programming? That these emotions legitimately do develop? But it, it doesn't matter. Go back now. Footsteps. Footsteps? Is she coming back? Is she following me? Wait. That's not her. Well, well, well. Guess we had the wrong girl this entire time. Lights out for you.